On June the 2016 during a Byzantine Mass, a miracle was recorded and reported by the priest. The portion of holy bread placed in the chalice began to rotate for approximately three and a half minutes in a steady and uniform circular motion. Shining lights surrounded the holy bread, gradually forming all the more distinctively. The characteristics of the tortured and wounded face of Christ. In the 8th century BC, Prophet Isaiah foretells of the deformed face of Christ. He had no form of comeliness. His appearance was disfigured and marred beyond that of any man. Through his wounds we were healed. He bore the sins of many and made intercession for the transgressors. For 2,000 years now, we are holding the Divine Liturgy, offering to God the Father bread and wine. We ask Him to send down the Holy Spirit and change them into the body and blood of Christ. With the Divine Communion, we attain direct communion with Christ. We become one blood and one body with Him. With God's consent we sometimes have unexpected events which clearly reveal his presence. These events neither explain nor exhaust the mystery of the divine liturgy which remains a mystery. However, through these events, God shows he is present in all the divine services. And that with the Holy Spirit, the bread and wine of the divine liturgy are truly changed into the body and blood of Christ. How and why the form of the suffering Christ appeared on the holy bread is unexplained. The Lord remains invisibly present within us in the divine liturgy. Even though our Lord could have triumphed over his enemies, instead he saves them by going on the cross. On the sanctified bread, we see the revelation of the tormented form of Christ, who willing suffered the martyrdom of the cross for the life and salvation of the world. The face is bloodied by the repeated beatings by an entire group of 60 soldiers of Pilate. The wounds are obvious, and the bruises are markedly sore. The parotid gland is swollen. The blood circulation is intensified. The mouth is open. The lips are swollen from the slapping of Annas's servant. The tongue and teeth are visible. The lower lip is hanging. With a shrug of his lips, a flash of divine light shines on his tongue. Blood is spewing from the wounded mouth. His eyes manifest. His unbearable pain he has suffered. His right eye is bleeding. His cheek is slashed open by the beatings. In order for man to enjoy the redemptive gifts of the cross of the Lord, the remission of sins, adoption, and redemption, he must discard his selfishness and egocentric view of life and instead Cultivate his love for God and fellow man. That is why the Lord, being God, became man.
so that his divine existence could become the revival, life, and salvation of the whole world.